So Jeff, it is so amazing to have you here in Israel. We are so lucky you're here. I'm delighted to be here, Mary <laughs> Um You know, you are the Denver's diet doctor, and uh, we've learned a lot from you. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about insulin resistance, my favorite topic. Sure. <laughs> so, um, you know, what I, th I think the very interesting thing about insulin resistance is that most people don't even know they have it. <laughs> They're walking around clueless. And that's, um, that's something we got to change. What, right. what do you think? What well, I, yes, I agree. And it's interesting that you're an endocrinologist because we as a primary care doctor or a GP would look to the endocrinologist to teach us about insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome mm -hmm. and how we deal with it. And uh, you know, unfortunately, that wasn't the case for myself. The metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance was, was somewhat self-discovery. And How did you get to it, by the way? I never heard that part of the story. Ah, yes. So uh, I've always been interested in nutrition over the years, but this goes back, say, 20 plus years ago. I had patients come in and uh, they were trying all these crazy low carb diets, Atkins, Atkins. diet. <laughs> Suzanne Summers mm. had a had low carb diet, believe it or not. And I, and, and I remember that story. And uh, Based on my training, I said, these sound crazy. I think you're going to drop dead. Right. But I, I'm open-minded, typical. I'm open-minded. And I said, OK, well, you know, we'll see how you do. And lo and behold, they lost weight. They felt better. The metabolic markers got better. And uh, it piqued my interest. Very, and very advanced of you to be open to it. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so um, I had some personal experience. I lost uh, 40 pounds, almost 20 kilos. Uh, right just overnight you know and life was stressful raising a family three kids wasn't taking care of my own health and and um, at that point I continued to read further about um, the root cause and the mechanisms and that led me to the metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance and the work of Jerry Reven yes. and as I mentioned in my talk you know when I first learned about the metabolic syndrome it wasn't in a nutritional approach. It was just kind of the methods and um, identifying people that were a risk of heart disease. Yeah. And they just would say standard diet. But, <laughs> well, it's very interesting, yeah. right? Because Jerry even like took you all the way there, and the next step was saying, well, the way to fix this is to just eat low carb. But yeah. That next step was... And, and I have to say, it was Robert Atkins that got me to the next level. Okay. Because to his credit, he talked about the metabolic syndrome way back when, and that the, the best approach was um, low carb. And it was later in the career of Dr. Reven and also Joe Kraft, who did the insulin assay, that they, I don't know if they admitted, but they recognized that there was, there was a benefit of uh, a low carb diet. And so for myself, we started just applying this to our patients and um, it's been transformative for myself and for my patients over the years. And we track them and we see uh, metabolic markers improve. We get them closer to ideal body weight. We address their diabetes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I learned in, in uh, last night speaking to one of um, the local people from Tel Aviv that, um, let's see, you can um, put the diabetes in remission. You have a Hebrew word for that. Mm -hmm. You can't reverse diabetes because if you say reverse in Hebrew, it's like a car backing up, <laughs> right? Well, I always and have you, this and issue. Yes, and I, you can. Right, I heard this, yeah. and you can cure it. But in Israel, you can't no, reverse it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so we, let's talk about remission. I mean, that we can do, right? Yeah, cure but there, is a bit too strong. I feel. Well, well I would say they're all just words, <laughs> and I don't care what you call it but it's just describing the, the benefit. And so we address the diabetes and also we're addressing heart disease risk. And so there's this big controversy that, well, you know, if you're treating metabolic syndrome and diabetes with a low carb diet and you give them the fat, it's gonna drive heart disease. And so this has unfortunately been ingrained in us over uh, half a century. And we're really turning things upside down and, and pointing out the fact that um, saturated fat 
was, was never meant to be the villain. And it's really part of a, a natural diet. It's a whole food. And this idea that perhaps the industrial seed oils, the highly processed oils that are polyunsaturated fats, because of their molecular structure, they're, in a sense, they're, they're kinky and they have, they have parts sticking out that are prone unstable. to oxidative stress yeah. and unstable. And so a high carb diet with um, these industrial seed oils is just a terrible combination. Recipe for disaster. And you look what's happened over the past half a century and um, you can see obesity, diabetes, and heart disease on the rise. Right. That's a strong message that the advice that we have been providing has not been working. Right, right. Well, thank you. Thank you for your wise words. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure.